hello lovelies welcome back to my channel is debbie in the building as always if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i upload new videos and if you are my old returning subscriber you are the real mvp so guys in today's video as you can see i'll be making a delicious archie soup this is what my Achi soup looks like. Achi is peculiar to people from the eastern part of Nigeria. Yeah, where I come from. This is actually my native soup. Yeah. And this soup is usually made with um, Okaze and Ozeza. But I'll be using what I have to make this soup. So if you want to see how I made this soup, please keep watching and watch till the end. Alright, alright. Here are my ingredients shaki, cow foot, isio boroko, that is stockfish head, and then my beef. I have onion, seasoning cube, salt, and black pepper. Then, with my scotch bonnet pepper, I'll be using it to cook the meat. And then, I have my crayfish, my bitter leaf. I'll be using a little bitter leaf and a little bit of spinach. I don't want to use only spinach because spinach has a very strong taste. So, I'll be adding bitter leaf to eliminate the taste of the spinach. Then, finally, my red oil. And this is the ache. I soaked it overnight. So, I'll start by cooking my meat i'll put everything together then add all the seasonings the onion black pepper seasoning cubes and salt as you can see then i'll quickly turn on my gas and then start cooking all i did is just to stir it you know for everything to mix properly I actually soaked the achi, which is my thickener. I soaked it overnight for it to be able to um, be so easy for me to wash, to peel out the back. Yeah, this is what it actually looks like before I soaked it. As you can see, it's dry there and very hard. So you have to soak it overnight. For it to be very easy for you to wash it out. This is the way I wash it. Yeah, because I don't really like bringing grinded ache. You know, this is actually the ache I came with when I was coming to this country. Roughly two and a half ye years ago. Yeah, and it's still remaining. Because I came with the seed. I didn't come with the blended one so this is how i usually wash it and prepare it for my soup for those that don't know what achi is this is what achi looks like you know because these days when you go to the market you usually see the the grinded one so most times you don't even get to see what it looks like so can you see the chaps I will still go ahead and wash it again until those black things are completely out from the seed. Yeah. I'll keep watch, washing it. So I'll be using my pepper towel to drain the water from the ache because I, I'm using it immediately so I have to drain it so it will be able to come out very dry when I'm blending it if you are not cooking the soup immediately you can as well just leave it for it to dry on its own because I'm cooking it immediately that's why I have to use my pepper towel to just you know, drain out the excess water from the ache. 
can you see after draining it this is what it looks like so i'll go ahead and start blending in some parts of the eastern parts of nigeria some people use also use oha to cook achi you know but i prefer using okaze and oziza in preparing my achi soup in that way it gives it a unique taste i just went ahead to check if it's properly blended but i just noticed that there are still lumps in it so i covered it up and continued blending you blend till it's very smooth so over to my pot here is my meat i came and checked as you can see the water inside just came out from the meat so i'll just go ahead and add additional water then add my scotch bonnet pepper stir everything up properly and then cover back my pot and quickly continue blending the ache because i need it to be very smooth now i went ahead and checked as you can see it's very smooth now this is exactly how i wanted it yeah is very smooth so i'll quickly set it aside 20 minutes later i came back to the pot and then added my crayfish and also went ahead and added my archie which is my thickener yeah I kept adding till I got my desired um, consistency. Yeah. So you keep adding. You just be adding it bit by bit till you get your perfect consistency. I don't want my soup too thick and I don't want it too watery. I just want it in between. So as I add, I stir just to check. The consistency so i went ahead and also added my red oil stirred everything up now i'll be cooking it for additional 10 minutes this is the perfect consistency i want because once it boils, it will also thicken a little bit. So, I went ahead to add my bitter leaf. Because I'm using a dry bitter leaf. That's why I'm adding it now. Because I need it to cook very well and become very soft. If you are using a very fresh bitter leaf, you can as well leave it till... the soup is properly cooked before adding it but i'm adding it now because i need it to be very soft so i i went ahead and covered it up and then after 10 minutes i came back and this is what my soup looks like this is what my achi soup looks like guys So, at this point, I'll go ahead and add my spinach. As I said earlier, I'm adding the spinach because I need um, to see that green <laughs> color, you know. <laughs> and then, I also added bitter leaf because I needed the bitter leaf to eliminate the strong taste of spinach 
at this point guys my archie soup is ready isn't this soup calling your name just tell me or you bring your plate bring your plate first confess up. please guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video and if you like what you are seeing give me a thumbs up feel free to share subscribe if you haven't and comment bye and see you all in my next video